Hello and welcome to this video demo of Patchmorpher. My name is Richard and I've built this application to allow you to create new sounds for your synthesizer really quickly and easily. Patchmorpher is also a patch librarian, so you can store the sounds on your iPad and it features a full touchscreen editor if you want to tweak things by hand or just have a look at what's going on behind the scenes. Connecting your iPad to the synthesizer is really easy. Here I'm using the Apple Camera Connection Kit to hook up via USB to the back of the King Korg. I'll start up the application. The basic idea in Patch Morpher is that you create new sounds by mixing existing patches on your synthesizer, a little bit like an artist would create new colors by mixing paints. We press Connect, and Patch Morpher detects the King Korg and the correct MIDI channel to use. We're now ready to go. Right, now we're ready to load some sounds from the King Korg into Patch Morpher. Just select the sound on the synth, press the button up here, and here's a synth sound. I'll uh, put in a bass sound as well, and a piano sound. Now all we need to do is move this wheel around the screen to morph between the, the sounds. The buttons on the left hand side allow us to control which groups of parameters Patch Morpher is actually transforming. So we can switch these off, for example, and keep, for example, the filter and envelopes the same and just morph the tone starting from the bass sound here. That gives you a lot of control over what Patch Morpher is actually doing. As you can see, everything in Patch Morpher takes place in real time. Patch Morpher is modifying hundreds of parameters behind the scenes. We can look at the editor here, and you can see all these parameters being, uh, being tweaked. It would take you hours to make all these patches by hand. I'm now going to play you a few sounds to give you an idea of what you can achieve using this software. <laughs> All the sounds you configure and load up into Patch Morpher, you can save down into your iPad along with any patches they can contain. Um, when you make interesting patches, you can just save them down to your iPad so you won't run out of sounds or slots on your synthesizer. You can then easily load the sounds up and try them out. Patch Morpher also makes it very easy to share your sounds with friends or colleagues, simply by email, sending the files, you can save them to Dropbox, and there are free demonstration files you can download from our website. Patch Morpher has many advanced options to allow you to more finely control the sound you're creating. For example, you can tell the King Korg to only use analog type sounds, or you can tell the Prophet 12 to only use digital waveforms and see what that does. Here's a scene which has um, two layers in it. So many of these keyboards allow you to layer sounds or split the keyboard, and Patch Morpher allows you to control these independently. So here I have the keys on the right hand, and the bass on the left hand. You can create thousands of interesting sounds just using morphing. 
But if you want to go further, Patch Morpher has intelligent ways of further randomizing the sound. So here we've switched to a Prophet 12, and we'll simply add in a conservative amount of randomizing to the morphing. And each time we press the screen background, the dice are rolled and a new patch is created. But we can still move around and morph continuously underneath. Another way of generating new sounds, this will spice things up a bit, is to use splicing. This is a bit like in genetics, where you simply take things from the different patches and pull them together. That will create wilder results, and they might not always be usable. But you can still get some interesting sounds. Patch Morpher features a full touchscreen editor if you want to edit the sound by hand or simply see what's going on behind the scenes. Everything's here in one big screen, there's no hidden sub-menus or things like that, and you can navigate around to the relevant sections using the buttons on the side. I'll go to the low-pass filter here, increase the filter frequency, change the envelopes, There's also a few shortcuts, so if you double tick uh, on a parameter, it'll go to the minimum, middle and maximum values, which is often useful. Also, if you want to edit a, edit a parameter with precision, you can simply go from left to right and move the knob very slowly. If you want to change it quickly, you move up and down. Patch Morpher also plays nicely with external sound modules and sequences. Here I'm simply using the Prophet 12 as a controller keyboard, routing it into the iPad and back out to the Prophet 8, which doesn't have a keyboard. But we can still morph the sound and play the, uh, the Prophet 8. So this wraps up our video demo of Patch Morpher. I hope you found it interesting. Uh, Patch Morpher is software I'm really passionate about and synthesizers. I know that it'll allow you to create thousands of new sounds for your synthesizer, going way beyond the original built-in presets. So check out our website for updates, and you can spend more time making music than twiddling knobs. Have fun. Thank you.